if he's not able to play, how does that affect how you can use Hurst? Does that sort of force him to play more at the nose tackle spot? You know, great, great part of our, our team right now, I think, when you go through camp, we're building depth at all positions. I think it's, you know, that, that's what this time of year for and find out what, where, where we're strongest at, where our depth is. And so, um, you know, I, I think across the board, we've done a good job of that. We, we, we've developed some guys and we got depth at all positions. What were some of the, the positives that you took away from Saturday? As far um, as the defensive line's concerned? Yeah, you know, I, I think um, it was good. The, probably the biggest positive was that was the first time we're out with crowd noise, and it was good seeing them communicate on their own. So, it wasn't, you know, coaches, we like to, you know, even though you're staying out, you, you cheat a little bit. You're yelling and, and kind of helping the guys out because you're into it, and, and we weren't able to do that then. So that was the first time they were out there on the field on their own. No one, you know, helping them out, making checks, and, um, you know, they communicated well, and for the most part, we're assignment sound. DJ, what's, what's the most interesting thing you've learned about your secondary in these last two and a half years? The best part is we were finding out the, the, the competitors, you know, because th there's good competition back there, and, and um, you know we put them in a bunch of spots where they, they got to go show up, and they know it's competition. We move guys around a little bit, and so I think it's, it's been great. You find out who the guys are really, really, you know, thrive in that type of environment. What do you like most about your defense so far? Um, just I, I think they, their work type mentality, blue collar, and we, we brought it every day. It's been it's been a tough camp, and. Uh, you know, they, they've really um, responded every day. I mean, they've been locked in in meetings. They've been they've done well in the field. Um, there, there, there's been a few instances where, where I, I could say that, that it wasn't that type of mentality. But really, when you look at the whole grand scheme of camp, they, they've really brought it. They've done great. How close are you to kind of having guys settled into, into the roles where you want them? Yeah, getting there. I mean, we're, we're, we're getting there. And now, you know, we're, we're really starting to get into game week in, in Utah prep. And, uh, and so, you know, as you're doing that with the game plan, you want to kind of hone guys in on what, what they're focusing on. And so, you know, we're getting to that point right now as a staff. Is that a little later in the process than you normally get there if you're here for a while? No, I think you get stale. If, you, if, if you're working on, um, you know, one opponent for, for so long, it kind of, the preparation gets stale. I think our main thing is focusing on us and getting better and, and, you know, going good on good and getting full speed looks. And then, you know, now you're, you're like into a, a game week before a game week right now. Can you feel the excitement building now? If, if a week from tomorrow you'll be on, on a plane going out to the game. Yeah, you know, our guys really, they enjoy, um, Practicing together, playing together, they, they enjoy one another. I mean, it, it's been good, um, and so yeah, definitely. I mean, you, as you get in the middle of camp, there it's a there's no light at the end of the tunnel. I think they're starting to get that now, and, and we're starting to you know back off a little bit. Like I said, you know, getting Utah prep, and de definitely, I, I think they're they're ready to go. Who are some of the guys that have evolved as pass rushers for you? Um, you know, up, up front, um, it, it's been good bouncing guys around. I think, you know, we mentioned Mo Hurst earlier. I, mean, I think he really helped us inside. Wormley's getting both inside and outside. You know, Mario, um, he's doing a great job on the edge for us. Um, and so, yeah, I think all those all those guys right there, you know, Willie Henry is another guy that just, uh, you know, can help us both inside and outside. You know, I think we're versatile up front. I think we're deep up front. And that's going to allow us to do, do several different things. DJ, have you talked with these guys any about the elevation difference at all? Has that, has that been a topic of conversation? Yeah, it has, you know, but we there's nothing, you know, other than talking to them about it, there's nothing um, really we can do to prepare them for it. It's just, I mean, is there any like extra that goes into conditioning or anything like that? Or do, you, do you guys feel like it's even going to be an issue at all? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's one of those things they gotta, gotta be aware of and prepare for. We, we've, you know, conditioned well all summer. We're conditioned at the end of practices. So um, I think Coach Tolbert and his staff done a great job with their guys. How has Peppers distinguished himself this camp? Yeah, I mean, you know, Jabril is, is um, as always, he brings it every day. He's one of the hardest workers on the team. And, um, you know, he's very talented. There's a lot of things he can do to help our team. It, it, it's, it's a matter of us figuring out where, where we need him most or where the best spots are to help him, um, for him to help us. And so, um, but he's been great. I mean, he's been, been practicing every day, doing a great job. As, as a coach, what's this, uh, this kind of bunker mentality? What, what's the, been, what's the, been the residual effect of that? I, I mean, I think it's really brought our team together. You know, we, we've, We've only been with one another all day, every day. So. Have you ever been a part of anything like that? It's like the whole the whole submarine talk, the bunker mentality. Have you, have you ever experienced this at a prior and, job? I mean, no. I mean, you know, I guess every every camp you go through this time of year is, is somewhat similar. But but no, nothing. I think it's been unique to any other experience in, in a positive way. Detail how unique, like the most unique thing about it. What stood out most about it to you? I just, I just think you know. Um, Coach Harbaugh really, really is always thinking outside the box. I think he's always on the cutting edge of the way he views things and does things. And so, you know, a lot of the ways we're doing things is, is you know, done differently here than anywhere else. And, and uh, you know, again, I think it's all been positive and good. Our players have responded really well.